Combined with Bitwig Studio, the Livid Code is an incredible tool for mixing, remixing, and making clips all from one portable and beautiful control surface. Four different tasks are mapped to the code for putting the controls you need in your hands. Mix, sends, device macros, and the incredibly fun classic sequencer. The left buttons are used for selecting the mode as well as providing shifting capabilities for the encoders and buttons. Shifting the mode means that encoders and buttons are remapped to new capabilities, extending the huge array of knobs even further. The encoder buttons serve the same purpose for both mix and sends mode, with a 4x8 clip launch grid. When shifted, the buttons give you control over record enable, solo, mute, and stop all clips. The bottom buttons are always used for track selection. In shifted mode, they provide navigation for the clip grid to change the track focus. In sequencer mode, these four buttons give you control over clip creation and playback. The left corner button acts as an encoder lock. When held down, it suppresses any values from the encoders so you don't accidentally change a value when pressing the button. Release it, and you have your encoders back in hand. Mix mode turns the code into a simple, obvious mixer, where each column of encoders provides volume, pan, and two sends for the current tracks. Bring a track into view with your track select button. The encoder buttons can be used to launch a clip. Use the encoder lock button if you want to make sure you don't disturb the encoder. Hold the mix mode button to shift for access to record enable, solo, mute, and stop all clips. Shift mode also turns the bottom right buttons into left, right, up, and down navigation for the clip grid. Sends mode gives you control over up to eight sends for the current tracks. Each column of encoders provides control over the first four sends in a track. Hold down the sends mode button to shift them to control sends five through eight. Bring a track into view with your track select button. As in mix mode, the encoder buttons can be used to launch a clip. Use the encoder lock button if you want to make sure you don't disturb the encoder. Hold the sends mode button to shift for access to record enable, solo, mute, and stop all clips. Shift mode also turns the bottom right buttons into left, right, up, and down navigation for the clip grid. For control over your track's effects, device mode gives you control over the eight macros in the primary device in the track. Each column of encoders provides control over the first four macros in a track. Hold down the device mode button to shift them for control over macros 5 through 8. To get the most control possible with the code in device mode, we recommend you group all your instruments and effects into an FX chain and intelligently map macros to the devices. The top row of buttons is used to turn devices on and off in each track, and the second row is used to arm recording on a track. Shift mode also turns the bottom right buttons into left, right, up, and down navigation for the clip grid, and additionally provides a control to enable automation recording. The last mode is the classic sequencer. This turns the code into an extremely versatile 16-step sequencer, with all the fun of a hardware sequencer combined with the flexibility of software. The top two rows of encoders are used to adjust the pitches of each step within an octave range. The encoder buttons are used to enable steps in time. Each track has eight parallel 16-step sequences, one for each octave. The bottom two rows of encoders are used for device control and mixing sends on the selected track. There is also an octave select encoder and volume adjustment. Shifted mode gives you some new controls on the bottom buttons. Clip navigation left, right, up, and down. From the center to the left, we can create a clip, launch the clip, 
stop the clip, and enable steps at the current time. These two encoders shift to pan control and scale select for mapping pitches to a chosen scale. The code script for Bitwig Studio bridges the gap between hardware and software, giving the best of both worlds to mix and create great new music in Bitwig Studio.